people have been saying Tinubu built Lagos when he was governor, but Lagos was built by the federal government's chief chiefs, Omar. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. An Igbo leader and a senior advocate of Nigerian Chief Chooks, Omar, has stated that Lagos was built by the federal government of Nigeria before the federal capital territory was moved to Abuja. The Sun newspaper verified Facebook page. According to the Sun newspaper, Momar, who is the leader of Igbo Lawyers Association, ILA, in an exclusive interview with the Sun newspaper, was reacting to the belief by some people that Lagos State in the Southwest geopolitical zone was built by the President of Nigeria, Asiwe Jubola Metinobu, record that, according to the Independent National Electoral Commission, the former governor of Lagos State and the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Asiwe Jubola Metinobu, defeated other strong contenders, including Peter Ubi of the Labour Party, as Alaji Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, and Rabiu Musa Kwankwasu of the New Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, to clinch the apex political seat in the country. He was sworn in as the 16th President of, Niger of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the 29th of May, 2023. While reacting to the news, administration led by President Bola Tinubu, Mama said, what is required is just selfless leadership. During his campaign for the office of president, Tinubu said Emilokon, claiming it was his turn to rule now. To rule now that he is in charge, let him do those things that led him to think it was his turn. I don't, however, think he will do much. He added, People have been saying that Tinubu built Lagos when he was governor. Lagos was built by the federal government before uh, relocating to Abuja. You know, say that one night they first tell us, say Tinubu na he built le Lagos. But they don't forget, say Lagos was once the capital city of Nigeria. You understand? Every investment, everything was coming to Lagos. But because, say, Tinubu, you know, can't be the first governor then now. They can't they talk, say, now he built Lagos and all that. The matter itself just get us a bit. And if you even come to that Lagos when they talk, say, he built, you yourself, you go to look for him. You go to look for him. Wahala went full Lagos and all that. Agbero everywhere. People not even they sleep where they breathe because of Agbero everywhere. Tinubu built Lagos, Tinubu built Lagos. Anyway, thank God it's now the Nigerian president. Just like what he said, what he did in Lagos, let it do it in Nigeria, make we see. You understand? We won't see that thing when he do for Lagos. We are really, really very, you know, eager to see what he did in Lagos, in Nigeria. I mean, at this one, when people don't, they, they die up and down because of hunger. Naim, we won't take the talk. Nigeria is becoming something else, so. Hunger won't keep people. Now those people when be say they the thief money, they know they understand what Nigerians are going through. Talking about the fair subsidy remover, because if I talk this one now, they go say why they talk the fair the the fair subsidy is supposed to be removed. Good and fine, nobody is agitating that. Got to be removed, because now they still talk say get some individuals who are defrauding Nigerians through that process. But before you take such a harsh policy, you for make things on ground now, like the Nigerian refinery, you for make sure say that at least two don't they work. You understand? So that we know who find out difficult. Then apart from that one too, lights. We don't have lights. There's no electricity in Nigeria. We're not saying 
every every Nigerian lives revolve in this fuel of a thing. Now fuel now we take the pump water. If we not see fuel, we not go bath. We don't go eat. We not go wash our clothes. So everything about our life is fuel. Those people when see they sell something now fuel when they sell small small shop when they seminars barbers hairdressers and all that people when see they sew cloth now fuel then they use so. All our life dealings in Nigeria now see the same for it. and I just this small thing, you know, this thing when we be say we they use when we just they benefit small from Nigeria, they don't cut off so much. If you are making some policies, they think not be said because they talk say all the presidential candidates during their campaign they were saying first subsidy have to go, first subsidy have to go, it just come and boom. Because you want to let Nigerians that you are working, you remove them without any implementation on ground. It's really hitting Nigerians. So, in fact, as this government can evil assume power, Nigerians can they fall more into poverty. And this is just the beginning. From now to December, our eyes go clear. If at all we are ready for our eyes to clear, because this way they go sell them. For 1,000 naira. The government was proposing 8,000 naira to 12 million uh, family, 12 poor Nigerian families, and also, I don't know as they take them again. How you take you know these people? How you, how you feel? How you, what do you even tell you? Say these poor people, they get account number. How you take get the statistics? Because that is another way of them to, you know, defraud Nigerians again. Palliatives during COVID-19, our politicians stockpile palliatives for themselves. Living poor Nigerians, that one na food do. Now you they talk of money. Ah, then they keep yam with goods. How you feel say the yam go survive? That one na food do. Food. Our leaders, Nigerian politicians, stockpile palliatives that was meant for the poor people. During that COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic, they stockpile it in their house. They make sure Nigerians never got it. And you want... Oh my God. Well, like as I said, we want him to replicate what he did in Lagos in Nigeria. As I said, he built uh, Lagos. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.